So the question is, how do I represent negative 4 in 4-bit 2's complement? Well, I look at these 4 bits, and the leftmost bit here is reserved. It is the signed bit. If there's a 1 there, that means you've got yourself a negative number. If it's a 0, you've got yourself a positive number. I want to represent negative 4. Step number one, I write the number four, which is, which is one, zero, zero. I now convert each one of these digits to its opposite, zero, one, one. I now add a one to this, and I get one and a one is a zero, carry the one. One and a one is a zero, carry the one, and the one comes down. So now I've got one zero zero. I'm not done. Next thing I have to do is I have to put a one in the leftmost bit. And now I write the two's complement representation of negative four in the remaining three bits, which is one zero zero. Can you be absolutely certain that this is the right answer? Yes, you can. Really. How can you be absolutely certain? Very easily. You go to this location, www.exploringbinary.com, to complement dash converter. And we come over to here, and we're going to key in negative 4. And down here it says number of bits. I make sure I key in 4, because the default is usually 8. And then I click on convert. And the answer I get is 1100. Let's check that against our answer, 1100. Zero, zero. Correct. This is George Bull. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.